our welcoming reflection today. Bless all who worship you from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Of your goodness give us. With your love inspire us. By your spirit guide us. By your power protect us. In your mercy receive us now and always. Amen. Greetings, Cheney UMC and friends. My name is Stan Kerr and I have the privilege of guiding us today on a spiritual practice known as Lectio Divina, or Sacred Reading of Scripture. Today's scripture is from the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verses 11 through 16. Let's see what invitations God has in store for us today as we open in prayer. Jesus, my feet are dirty. Come even as a slave to me, pour water into your bowl, come and wash my feet. In asking such a thing, I know I am overbold, but I dread what I was threatened when you said to me, if I do not wash your feet, I have no fellowship with you. Wash my feet then, because I long for your companionship. Do you see the owl? As you prepare for this time of sacred reading, or Lectio Divina, I encourage you to light a candle to welcome the Holy Spirit. Let's quiet our hearts and minds for this time and conversation with God by taking a moment to slow things down with this breathing exercise. First, slowly close your eyes, lower your shoulders, and rest your hands comfortably in your lap. Let yourself settle and let go of distractions. Breathe in, counting slowly to four. Hold that breath for four seconds. Slowly exhale out your mouth for four seconds. Repeat this, this breathing rhythm one more time. Breathe in, counting slowly to four. Hold your breath for four seconds. And slowly exhale out through your mouth for four seconds. Do this as many times as you like. It does help you to get recentered. If four seconds is too long, you can begin with two or three seconds and build from there. Today's scripture will be read for a total of three times. Listen closely for a word or phrase, or perhaps it will be an image or feeling that speaks or rings out to you as the scripture is read for the first time. Slowly repeat that word or phrase to yourself a time or two, or hang on to that feeling or image, because that is looking, looking at and seeing the divine. This is a time of conversation and prayer between you and God, and God has given you this word or phrase, or perhaps it was a feeling or image, to you for this time of sacred reading. Opening up your feelings is encouraged for this conversation with God. Any feeling from abundantly joyful to those desperately difficult. After each reading, pause or use the silence that follows to reflect on that word or phrase or image or feeling and consider it as a spiritual gift from God that he is inviting you to use. Asking God how to use this spiritual gift is part of today's conversation. If nothing speaks to you or you're uncertain of what you're doing, pray boldly and without hesitation to God with unbelievable faith. God will answer you. Trust that God understands you. If your mind wanders, slowly bring it back to your listening to the Scripture as you receive the gift of Scripture from God. Please hear God's Word. 
When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace, and had succeeded in carrying out all that he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer, and I have chosen this place as place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. As you listen for a second time, allow the word or phrase, or perhaps it was a feeling or image that caught your attention, continue to stir your thoughts or feelings to a deeper level of reflection. In your mind's eye, consider what you see when you see that word or phrase or image or feeling surrounded by a bright white light. Go slowly. Allow God time to say all he wants to say to you today. When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace and had succeeded in carrying out all he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour the land, or send a plague among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered inside this place. I have chosen and consecrated this, consecrated this temple so that my, not my name may be, may, may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there.
Talk honestly with God about whatever you're feeling now. Listen for his invitations to you. How are you being called to respond to God's word? And what do you need from God right now? When Solomon had finished the temple of the Lord and the royal palace and had succeeded in carrying out all he had in mind to do in the temple of the Lord and in his own palace, the Lord appeared to him at night and said, I have heard your prayer and have chosen this place for myself as a temple for sacrifices. When I shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or command locusts to devour, devour the land, or send a plague among my people. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. I have chosen and consecrated this temple so that my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. Rest now in the presence of God. Your thoughts and feelings right now during this time of, of silence and conversation with God has been his gift to you. For a few moments, simply close your eyes and allow the silence and message and invitations from God to rest in you. And let us close in prayer. May the spirit we have shared tonight help us to be more comfortable with our speech in the coming weeks. May we go into speaking situations without force or struggle, accepting ourselves regardless of our fluency. We are never alone. Together, we are changing lives. Amen.